Hey guys, welcome back and Happy New Year's. Uh, I hope everyone had a nice holiday um, and New Year's. I hope everyone stayed safe, everyone got their Christmas presents. Um, we're going to get started with this vi uh, first video of the year by putting the diff back onto the car, finally. Unfortunately, um, when I took down the rear subframes, I didn't think of uh, pulling the hubs out before dropping everything so that's going to be kind of a of a pain in the butt for me because then that means to install the hubs and the arms back just to pull out the um just to pull them out and then bring everything back down so i have some of the control arms there i might have to just place them back with some bushings just like just not too tight just tight enough just so i can be able to pull them off Good thing that in the front subframe though, they're all still connected, all the arms and the sub, so I can just pull it off from there. But unfortunately, since I already have the subframe installed, I'm just gonna have to install everything back, pull out the hubs from each side, and then bring everything back down, refreshing it, put the new bushings and etc. So I haven't posted anything much on Instagram or made any videos because unfortunately I've had a few uh family problems that i'm still trying to sort out at the moment um a few days before christmas i had a family emergency i had to run down to tampa and things have just been like kind of spiraling out but everything is starting to settle in a little bit but as for my viewers i'm i'm not gonna burden you with any of that stuff we're gonna continue to work on this car we're gonna continue to finish the rear and then we're going to move forward. We're going to get this project done. And I want you guys to be a part of it. So without further ado, let me just give you a quick little update. So I did start sorting some of the wiring back in. I have to see how I can clip it. All this harness, clip them on these little holes so they're not all like loose. Um, in the video, I'll probably post a picture of how the car looked like before. Uh, you can see all of these harnesses and all this. It looked like a big freaking rat nest, but it, I'm not trying to do a, a wire tuck, but I did get the wires that I'm no longer using, like for ABS um, and also for the, for the airbags. I'm just putting them aside and all the useful ones, I'll just keep them inside nice and organized as best as I can. That way, uh, the car is just much more easier to work around whenever I have to do maintenance or whenever I'm modifying it and stuff. So it's not going to be super pretty, but it's going to be a lot cleaner and a lot more easier to access stuff now that I have everything nice and tidy and, and try to uh, limit any of the clutter that goes back here. So that's why I'm going to go with a cop kit instead of going back to the conventional... Uh, coil pack which it takes a lot of space that way when i'm gonna go service the thermostat when i do the the coolant reroute it's just a little bit more easier for me i'll have a little bit more hand space instead of being all cramped up um this this thing right here is a piece of crap right after i came back from tampa it gave me it's it, it started acting up on me i mean the car runs and i i can put it into like reverse drive i can put it through all the like the gear settings but it doesn't go past first gear all the shift solenoids are new uh all the services are up to date transmission fluid uh filter is new a everything is up to date this car like all service wise is up to date Either the TCM went out and so it can't determine when to ship from first to second or the transmission is screwed. So you know what? Screw this car. I'm going to find another daily. This is what I've been using to get to work. I know it's a pink bike, but you know what? You make ways. So in order to get that diff here, we're going to have to move all this stuff. Okay, so before we move on, uh, just make sure I clean up a little bit here. Uh, as you could see, I already went on ahead after I came back from Tampa and I installed it, installed it, installed 
all of the stainless steel brake lines to each side. I got them all mounted up to the chassis. So these are from a 96 to 2000 Civic proportioning valve because I couldn't find one for the Miata, but they fit perfectly fine. I use um, thread sealant to make sure they're nice and, and sealed. Got the proportioning valve, got them all hooked up. And so here are the fronts as well. And so I got that already sorted out, got it to the other side. So actually that was supposed to be up, up there. I don't know why I, I went through here. I'm gonna have to fix that. But I, I mean, as long as it's already installed, I can fix that later. After we put the dish, I am going to torque down the subframe to torque specs. That way we're already done with the subframe and the diff and we don't have to touch it anymore. All right, so what I'll be doing here is I'll probably be guiding the diff along with the jack and just like slowly putting it up. Just make sure that you've got the, the bolts that you need. Um, also, you're gonna need that little mounting piece that goes on the bottom. The stock ones have these uh, rubber things. Um, you're gonna have to remove them. I'll show you what I mean these parts because the bottom of the these things have a big rubber there well they're actually a bunch of little triangular ones that you have to you have to burn off and remove and then one on the back uh, they're used for vibration but basically this is how they mount onto the rear subframe and so you're gonna need these if you're gonna be using upgraded bushings you're gonna need to remove all those triangular ones but if you're just going with stock then you can just leave them like that well so much for trying to record the process of getting that up there okay I'm sorry guys look so what happened was uh, I had the phone recording on there but because it's a phone and the, the Sun was shining on it I was trying to record a time-lapse of me actually putting it on on the jack and and aligning everything and getting it onto the subframe but unfortunately because of the sun the the phone got too hot yeah i don't have the appropriate camera to be recording these kind of stuff and like the angle where i have to record is kind of not ideal but basically what i did was i had to guide myself and if you have someone to help you it'll be even better like one person holding the diff and the other person actually pushing the the jack in um or you can do it without a jack just like the same method that greg peters and many other people use to put the transmission up you can use it for the diff just try to place them on your knees and lift it up and try to get them bolted but i just found that this was a lot easier and i didn't have to use much of my uh body effort so what I did was I carefully uh, guided it into place, um, slowly lifting it up and then aligning it until I got each side mounted and then just bolted. I put the bracket and then I bolted the bolts onto the subframe, just hand tight. And then now most of the weight is sitting onto the jack. I have this rubber piece it's supposedly it's supposed to extend the the jack so you'd be able to lift the car up higher but because it's rubber at least it won't start marring onto the onto the finish of the of the rear diff but basically that that's how you get it onto there um the rear diff has three screws a 70 millimeter and then two i believe these are 12s and so that's this is the part the part with the lump goes into the aftermarket bushing and then just bolt them onto place. I could technically 
drop the jack now and start tightening everything but I just want to support it there until I can get everything all of these nuts and bolts like torque to spec all right so I got my torque uh, my torque wrench right here I've got the sockets that I'm going to use uh, keep in mind again uh, when it comes to the subframe you want to use longer sockets because of the screws but uh, for the smaller or short stub uh, sockets a normal one should be fine mine is a uh, half drive to three fourths extension so half drive uh, to the wrench and uh, three fourths for the connecting sockets these are half drive so i won't i could just take off this extension um adapter but i'll probably use this one for like the small 12 millimeters so i got a 12 millimeter right here i got 11 16 or a 17 millimeter here and then this is a three fourths this is going to be for the subframe this is going to be for the the bolt for the diff onto the um, the subframe and these are for the two little 12 millimeter bolts on each bracket those two are the 12 millimeters and that's the 17 and these are the three fourths long socket look that's why okay so here i wrote out according to the manual and miata source what the um, torque specs are for each of the bolts for so for the diff mount the center the one with the 17 millimeter the main one at 69 to 75 foot pounds uh foot pounds um the diff mount the smaller one with the the two 12 millimeters that that piece that goes on uh under the um, under the bushing that's 18 to 22 foot pounds um and then the subframe itself for the rear is 69 to 86 so we're gonna set this up to the settings on each one and we're gonna tighten this baby up All right, so there you have it. I got everything all torqued to spec. Uh, so now, now I know everything is torqued right. Um, everything's nice and secure. I'm gonna have to fix that brake line. I'll probably do it after I finish with this video. Um, those are good, that side's good as well. So that's it for the hubs before I brought everything down and these are gonna be a little bit difficult I'm gonna have to actually install the arms back and start a separate video or not even I'm not even gonna waste my time on that video because you can see a bunch of videos on how to pull off a hub um, I'll probably just pull off the hubs and uninstall all the arms again and then continue with the arms and then work my way to the hubs and, and the bearings and stuff like that. Mind you, they're all gonna get all new hubs and bearings, front and rear. So this thing should be riding nice and crispy. But that's it, finally, the diff is installed. 
and it's ready to rumble we're one step closer to finishing the rear thank you for watching um leave a like leave a comment negative or positive when you guys leave comments i could i could really use that feedback um i don't care how bad or how good the the comment is it, it'll help me out I'll, it'll help me improve if it's like how i install something or how i make my videos i mean i'm just starting my channel just trying to make this build um maybe hopefully inspire someone but but yeah that's it she is installed let's drop that and look at that it is looking great it looks good okay so um until the next time thanks for watching take care